lot of respect for Matthew Hussey. I think he does a great job, but I think he is failing women massively when it comes to dating because he's not telling them the truth about men and when and how they commit versus women and when and how they commit. I think both Cosmo and Matthew are complicit in messing with us women because they're not feeding us the right information. And the reason why we have so many unhappy singles, unhappy couples, is that lack of information. I will be reading an article done by Matthew Hussey and Cosmo. This one's a doozy, so hold on tightly. Here's the beginning of this article. You've met a cutie, you've been on several great dates, slept together, and you're even comfortable enough to allow them unrestrained access to your Spotify account, even the Disney soundtrack. But how do you know if all this is leading somewhere? There's no one way to have what is thought of by most of us as the conversation of doom. I wonder if he's talking about men, like males, when he says the conversation of doom. Um, but according to dating expert Matthew Hussey, there are some simple do's and don'ts. So we've got yet another single dating expert feeding men and women the wrong information. First of all, several dates slept together comfortable enough to allow them unrestrained access to your Spotify account. So basically, you're in a trust zone already. So you have already given them your trust. So now, now that you trust them, now that you're in this, now it's time to be straightforward. Right there, already my mind is being blown. Be upfront and straightforward about what you're looking for. Apparently you want to do that after having sex. This makes no sense. Why would you let yourself fall into trust with somebody and then ask them if they want a relationship? Why wouldn't you be straightforward at the beginning? My advice is you have that conversation on date one, before you kiss, before you get in bed. Why don't you want to be straightforward before you fool your brain into thinking you're with the right person? Pause and take a moment to think about this. Are you in a mindset to get in a relationship? Then this is where you need to be listening to what I'm saying. Because if you're looking for someone who wants to get in a relationship, all of these steps need to be done before that first kiss is exchanged. If you have that conversation on the first date and you say, you know what, I'm already done with my playtime and I'm really looking for someone to have a long-term relationship with, I'm not in this just for fun. What about you? Where are you at? He knows by the time he sits across from you where he's at in this dating game, whether he's dating just to have fun or he's dating to have a long-term relationship, he already knows before he stepped out that door where his mind is at. So ask him on the first date, find out in the beginning before your heart gets involved what they're willing to give. Find out at the very beginning what this person is looking for, not after you've already kissed and slept together. And then he goes on. I remember someone once starting the where is this going chat with me by saying, what are your intentions? This is Matthew Hussey talking. It took me aback at first with its bluntness, but I was suddenly attracted by the fact that they knew what they wanted from the start. Do you understand this? Men are attracted to women who are confident. You don't have to wait until you are in it to be confident enough to ask him what he wants. Do it in the beginning. You will not waste any time that way. Matthew Hussey gets this step wrong. Be straightforward at the very beginning, not after you've formed a bond. Step two, don't be too emotional. Do you know women? Do you understand women? So most of us, when we kiss you, we're emotional. We start getting emotional right then and there pretty much. And if we get into having sex, then we're definitely emotionally involved for the most part. So step two, don't be too emotional. Well, that's easy to do when you're having this conversation on the first date because you're not emotionally involved. If you're having sex with somebody before you know what their intent is, before you know if they're in this for a relationship or not, guess what? You're already casually hooking up. 
Matthew Hussey definitely doesn't understand how women differ from men when it comes to dating, and it shows. You're just following the cultural rule, which is kiss to see where it goes, get into the relationship and then see where it goes and then ask him where this is going and then figure out if you're compatible. This system of dating does not work and we need to stop doing this. Step three, do let them know you have other offers. I completely agree. And the best thing about no kissing for three months is you can date multiple people at once. I don't know about you, but most women, when we kiss somebody, if I kiss someone on the first, second or third date, and then the next person, the next day says, can I take you out? You know what I'm gonna say? I'm seeing someone. And most women are like that. So when you say, I like you, I wanna see where this goes, I don't kiss for three months, this does open you up for other offers. And you know as well as I do, if we're kissing and having sex, chances are we are turning down other offers, which means we are putting ourselves at a disadvantage. But guess who's at the advantage? The guy who's taking everything and hoping we're not gonna have that conversation about where is this going before he's done taking what he wants. I agree with Hussey here. No kissing for three months allows you to date multiple people at once and not get attached. Uh, you can drop hints that you won't be around forever by saying things like, what do you, uh, what do you see this as? I ask because I've been asked out by other people and I'm not sure what to tell them. Don't put yourself in a position of putting someone on the spot to commit to you. Just be open and, and date people and then choose the right one out of the people that you're dating. Like, like, I really don't like this tactic of like jamming someone up against a wall and going, look, you need to decide if you're going to keep me now because otherwise I'm just going to keep moving on. I don't understand Hussey's logic here. Giving somebody an ultimatum as to whether or not they want to be with you while you're still in the early stages of dating them is not fair. Number four, don't settle for just having fun. Uh, maybe you should have not settled for just having fun before kissing and having sex. Again, make your behaviors match your intent. If you just want fun, do it. Do it. I am the opposite of prude, okay? I have a rich sexual history. I have nothing against sexual exploration, sexual fun, sexual play. What you want to do, find a consenting person and do it with them, absolutely. But if you want a relationship, you need a different set of behaviors because you want to trigger a man's brain in a way that tells him that you are relationship minded. If you say you want a relationship and your behaviors are play, he puts you into the play category in his brain. If you tell him you want a relationship and your behavior is a relationship behavior, he puts you into the, huh, maybe that's gonna be my future wife category in his brain. So make your behaviors match your intent. Don't settle for just having fun. I agree. So don't just have fun. If you want a relationship, separate the two. Finally, some good advice here. Definitely don't settle for having fun if you are actually looking for a relationship. Align yourself with what you want to attract. Five, do set a time limit for commitment. I agree 100%, three month rule. They'll be more inclined to move forward if they realize you won't be around forever. That is exactly true. They will be inclined to make a decision that's right for them, knowing right off the bat that you are making decisions that are right for you. So you have that conversation. I like you, I wanna see how this goes. Don't kiss anybody I don't know. Three month rule, blah, blah, blah. It gives them an opportunity to say, you know what? I'm in having fun mode, so I'm going to remove myself from this. I will stop texting, I will stop calling, I will stop making plans. Those are the ones you let them fade off because they know what they want and it's not a relationship or at least not a relationship with you. And that clarity leaves you free. You're not stuck in relationship limbo, kissing, having sex, playing what I call the hoping game hoping that the attention, that the time, that the devotion, that the sexuality is going to pull them into that relationship with you. Don't do that. Don't play the hoping game. Find out where he's at before. If they say they're not sure, 
what we are yet respond that's okay i understand if we still don't know what this is in a month from now we should just be friends as though she's not already emotionally evolved again you have zero understanding of women if we are having sex with you and only you chances are we want a relationship and we are emotionally evolved and it is not just a simple goodbye it's a breakup that hurts if they walk away from this another single male dating expert that doesn't understand both genders what a shocker number six don't try to change their mind. Don't try to change anybody. Be who you are. Let them know who you are. Be upfront about who you are and what you want. Once they tell you what they're looking for, accept whatever that decision is. I agree 100%. Just find out early. The best thing you can do is show them that you're willing to move on and not try to convince them to change your mind. I agree 100%. That's the best thing Matthew Hussey has stated in this article. LOL. Anyways, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.